We're going to jump into creating reports in just a second, but I've got one key concept to cover first so that when we do jump in, things will make a lot more sense. See, every report you make in reporting services will require that you provide three elements, three things, three distinct kinds of information in order that I'll describe as the where, the what, and the how. Where is the data for this report? What is the data for this report? And how should it be presented? And we need to describe each of these three pieces individually. And without all three, you don't have a report. So first, where is it? Where is the data that you're interested in? And how do you connect to it? Literally, what machine is it on? What's it called? Because reporting services is not restricted to only creating reports from data on the same physical SQL Server machine. Sure, that is very common, but it can talk to other SQL Server machines, whether they're across the room or across the world. It can talk to other database systems. It can talk to SharePoint lists. It can talk to XML files. So if we want to create a report and say, base it on data in a SQL Server database, we begin by providing the name of the server, the actual name of that machine. Then the name of the database on that server, because there's typically multiple different databases. And because just naming a database is not going to get you inside it, all databases are typically secured. So we will also need to provide some kind of authentication details so that database will actually let us in. So this is your report's source of data, your data source. And that is the term that we use. We are defining the data source. So if that's the where, the next step is what. What is your data? Now, you might think you just provided this, but you didn't. Our data source is just us pointing to the database we're interested in, saying where it is and how we connect to it. But we don't want the entire contents of that database just dumped out on a report. So in the what step, we specify the data that we want. What is that data exactly? What tables, what rows, what columns, in what order, with what conditions? This is the subset of the data that we're interested in, and this is called the data set. And finally, once we've defined the where, the data source, and the what, the data set, we can define the how. How should this be presented? What does it look like? What is the layout? So from purely presentational choices like what fonts and what colors we're using to more structural choices, because the same data could be shown many different ways. So is it just raw text and numbers, or will we generate charts and graphs from this data? Will we allow viewers to interact with the report and resort it and move through pages of it? So everything that we're going to do is going to fall into the where, the data source, the what, the data set, and the how, our report layout. And it's different kinds of thought process that we need for each step. So next, let's see an example. A membership to lynda.com unlocks this entire course and hundreds of others. Visit lynda.com to learn more.